Very warm welcome to our biology class. In this class, we are going to understand regarding the memory glands. Memory glands are even called as an breast glands. In human, there is one single pair of memory glands located in the chest region. And probably you all know that. Based on the presence of this memory gland only, we have made the separate class in the subphylum vertebrata as a mammalia. All the mammalians are have different number of memory glands. But in human, there is a one single pair of memory gland it is located in the chest region. And these are the modified sweat glands. Now let us understand how the breast glands are made up of. If you take on the lateral sectional view of human body, consider this as a chest wall which is made up of the ribs as well as uh, muscles in between the ribs. Those muscles are even called as an intercostal muscles. And inside to the chest cavity we will find the presence of uh, lungs and in between the lungs we will find the presence of heart also even. In front of the chest cavity we will find the presence of one major muscles. Those muscles are called as pectoralis major muscles and even these muscles are called as breast muscles. Suppose when the female child will get birth, it have underdeveloped breast glands with a very small amount of fat inside it. Now the female child will keep on growing and she will reach to the age of maturity and whenever she reach to the age of maturity, by that time the follicles will start to grow in her ori and those follicles will start to secrete the hormone estrogen. And whenever the estrogen started to secrete from the follicle, that will enhance the fat deposition in the adipose tissue all over the body. And even it will accelerate the fat deposition in the breast glands. And once the fat will started to deposit it in the breast glands, the size of the breast glands will keep on increasing after once they reach to the age of maturity because of this estrogen hormone. As well as internally, memory alveoli are also keep on developing. Now let us understand by taking a cross section of the memory glands, how internally it made up of. Memory glands internally divided into number of lobes. Each memory gland is divided into 15 to 20 lobes. Those lobes are called as memory lobes. And inside to the memory lobes, they contains the cluster of cells. Those clusters of cells are called as memory alveoli. And these are the clusters of cells which are able to produce the milk. Whatever secreted milk is there, it is going to be collected into the small cavity present inside each and every alveoli. Those cavities are called as memory cavities or uh, memory lumen. And memory lumens are further connected with a small tubules. Those tubules are called as memory tubules. There are primary memory tubules are there, secondary memory tubules are also even there. And the secondary memory tubules are going to join with each other and they form the duct. Those ducts are called as memory ducts. And many such ducts are going to join with each other and they form the common memory duct. And those common memory ducts are have slightly enlarged area that is called as ampulla. Ampulla further leads into the small ducts. Those are called as lactiferous ducts. And the lactiferous ducts are going to open at the tip of the nipple. This is what the way how the alveolar tissue present inside the memory gland. In addition to this, we will find the presence of various amount of fat in the memory glands. And the amount of the fat as well as memory alveoli are going to decide the size of memory glands. In addition to this, we will find the presence of one dark brown colored ring surrounding to the nipple. That ring is called as areola. It is highly touch sensitive. Students, usually we have a sensation of touch all over the body. But if you compare the sensation of touch, it is comparatively very high in the areolar area. Even we are going to understand later on 
how this areola is going to help at the time of feeding by getting the sensation of touch to the mother. Suppose now this is what the things we have already understood how the memory gland is made up of. We have seen it is uh, made up of the memory alveoli and those memory alveoli are uh, contains the cavities those are called as an memory cavities or alveolar cavities and uh, those cavities are leads into the memory tubules memory tubules are further leads into the memory ducts and memory ducts is going to have a small enlarged area called as an ampulla and then the ampulla is going to leads into the lactiferous ducts that is what the things we have already understood students suppose now after the delivery whenever the baby will started to hold the nipple by that time its mouth parts are started to touch to the areola and once the mother started to get the touch sensation to the areola she will sensitized to her hypothalamus then from her posterior pituitary gland one of the hormone called as an oxytocin started to secrete and this oxytocin is going to act on the smooth muscles present inside the memory glands under the action of oxytocin those smooth muscles will started to contract and due to the contraction of the smooth muscles whatever the milk which is stored inside the alveolar cavity it will started to conduct into the memory tubules and then it is started to conduct into the memory ducts and then into the ampulla and then through the lactiferous duct it started to suck the milk that is what the way how the infants are started to feed on the breast glands actually the infants do not have the much capacity to suck the milk but whenever they just to hold the nipple by that time mother is going to get the sensation about the touch and uh, automatically the milk is started to eject out to the nipple that is what the way how the infants are going to get an feeding whatever the first milk is going to be produced after the delivery it called as an colostrum actually the colostrum is uh, going to give the passive immunity to the child by providing iga type of antibodies hence what even the doctors are used to suggest not to waste the single drop of colostrum because by that the child is going to get the disease resistant capacity from the mother now let us understand once again how the milk is going to be conduct what is the sequence of milk conduction milk which is going to get produced in the memory alveoli and after that it will be collected into the memory cavities and from the memory cavities the milk is going to conduct through the memory tubules primary and secondary memory tubules and then the memory tubules are going to join and forms the memory ducts memory ducts are uh, leads into small enlarged area called as an memory ampulla and the memory ampulla is going to leads into the small ducts called as an lactiferous ducts and the lactiferous ducts are going to open at the tip of the nipple this is what the way how the milk is going to conducted through the memory glands i hope so students this uh, is useful for you all now let us see that what exactly they have given in the ncert book functional memory gland is a characteristics of all female mammals and the memory glands are present in the chest cavity in a one single pair and they contains the glandular tissue as well as various amount of fat the glandular tissue of each breast gland is divided into 15 to 20 memory lobes and those memory lobes are made up of the cluster of cells and they are called as an memory alveoli and the cells present in the memory alveoli are able to produce the milk and that milk is going to stored in the small cavity called as an alveolar cavity or alveolar lumen and the alveolar lumen is going to further connected with the memory tubules and memory tubules are joined to forms the memory ducts and uh, memory ducts is uh, leads into the wider area called as a memory ampulla which is connected further with the lactiferous ducts and lactiferous ducts are opened at the tip of nipple this is what even the picture is given in the ncert book you need to practice about it i hope so students you are all understood regarding the memory glands very well please like 
share comment and subscribe my channel thank you once again